Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Little video today. Uh, I'm going to be fitting some heated mirrors to my Defender after fitting the uh, optimal LED pedal lights. Uh, I've got wires already there to fit uh, an aftermarket heater mirror. So that's the job today is to fit some heated mirrors to my Defender. So I've already got um, the wires there for that. So all I need to do is to take the mirrors off themselves, get the glass out, give them a clean, stick the pad on, uh, put the terminals on, and then the wire is already there from the previous wiring kit that I got from Optimal when I fitted the LED pedal lights. So if you've got a TD5 or a Puma and you bought the Optimal LED lights and you bought the wiring kit that's extra in the package that enables you then to go ahead and wire some heated mirrors into your Defender. So all I need to do is to say, put the pads on the back of the glass, run, run the cable then to the switch, solder the switch uh, to the, into the switch, and away to go, hopefully. So uh, let's take a look at what the pads look like. These are not your standard Defender mirrors. These are slightly larger than the standard ones. And I tell you what, if you've, you've got to change your mirrors or you need to want to upgrade your mirrors, I would recommend uh, going to Mud UK and getting the larger mirrors that they do. It makes a hell of a difference uh, when you drive in. You can see a lot more because uh, the Defender mirrors are so small anyway. So these are the pads I bought um, from eBay. Uh, they are a bit small, but they will do the job as well. I mean, um, for what I paid for these, I think they were about £22, I think, for them from a company called Bolt On Bits. But yeah, they, they will stick on there. So I got to take these off. Uh, like I say, there's wires already in, installed these, but if you're doing these, you can actually buy a wiring kit that comes with these pads, a relay, a switch. But the beauty of this, because I've got the Optimal LED pedal lights in here, when I bought the wiring kit to wire those in, it comes with the option then that you can add aftermarket heater pads. So the wire's already here, like I said, and then obviously then I've got a, a black and white wire, which is just in the dash here now, which I need to feed then to the switch. So I've just bought a, some extra cable for that. So it's not quite long enough for where I want it to go. So that's the job, yeah, take these off stick them on uh, and then just wire them to the switch and when I put my uh, heated switch on for the rear back door they will come on as well and it's all safe and everything else but as I say shouldn't be too bad of a job to do as long as the weather stays dry so here we are this is the TD5 dash this is a later model on a TD5 so my heater switch for my rear back window is on here so I need to take all this off unfortunately to get access to the switch so I can get to the wiring at the back. Uh, on the back of this switch, there's, there's, I think there's four wires and one of them will be a black and white wire which will marry up with the wire that come with the wiring kit from Optimil. So that'd be easy to do. So I just need to remove this, take a bit of time consuming just to take this off. It shouldn't be too bad to do because I've only fitted this a couple of months ago. That's another video to check out, guys. If you are looking through my archives of videos and everything, I've fitted this um, nine inch screen from Sony into my Defender back this year as well. That was another video I'd done, so go and check that out. Next job I need to do is to take the uh, lower speaker off and the black and white cable that I need to run from there to the switch then, but I need to extend that wire as well. So I'll be removing this speaker and then obviously I need to take the stereo out then to get at the switch for the wiring. So that'll be the next job. So yeah, it's, uh, not too bad to do, but say that screen's got to come out. Uh, say the more stuff you fit to a Defender, the more you've got to take off. But that'll be straightforward. I know the cable is just there underneath there for that. And it's all uh, all wired in. So yeah, they're all working great, the pedal lights from Optimal. If, uh, if you haven't seen the video, go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Right, the next job now is to take the speaker out to access that wire that's already there. And I need to solder an extra piece of wire onto that and then feed that up then into the switch, take the stereo out. So uh, let's, uh, let's get on with that. If you're watching my video and you like it so far, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like, because a lot of people are watching my channel and a lot of people haven't subscribed. It means a lot to me. If you can hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment or a thumbs up on the video. Yeah, that'd be much appreciated. Right, let's get back to the video. It's not quite long enough for my liking, so I went out and bought uh, same, the same wire and what I've done. So there's the wire I've just bought. 
and I've sleeved it in this stuff here, this sort of uh, conduit stuff. So what I'm gonna do is salt, bear these back, solder those together, slide this on, and then feed this then up through the dash. So it's all protected. You don't want it to catch anything in the dash or rub against anything. So I put it in this braided conduit stuff. There's a bit of a faff to fit this braided conduit, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's well worth it. It's, uh, it's a nice finish as well. So that's the next job. Now I'm gonna solder those together and then I'll cut off the excess wire then with, uh, that I don't need for that. So there you go, I've just sleeved that right through, soldered it together, and then I just put a bit of heat shrink then on the ends to stop this stuff from fraying. So I've got to feed this wire now up into the dash and then pick it up onto the back of the switch. Yeah, but that's a neat little job. I'll feed that through and that's not going to rub or catch anything. You know, just having a bare wire like that. I know there's bare wires in the back of the Land Rover anyway, but that is, uh, I'll know what that is then when I need to take it off for any reason. So I've taken the stereo out, popped the switch out as well. And what I've done as well, I've opened the switch up and then I just used a little clip then just to take the pin out. So this is the black and white wire. I hope you can see that. I'm sure you can, which obviously was in the back of that. And then I've fed through the cable I'd done earlier on. So the plan is now is I'm going to solder, cut into that. Have a look, you see that. Cut into that, solder that onto there. And that's a neat job. I mean, I, I could just scotch lock it, but like I say, I don't use scotch locks. Um, they're a bit nasty, to be honest with you. They may be okay for something like inside here where you're not going to get wet or anything but uh, no i'll um i'll cut that off i should have enough cable there yeah and then uh, i just basically pop that back in so what i used if you ever got any of these connectors and you need to open these i don't know how much this you're going to see on the camera but if you need to open any of these up these pins up just get yourself a little pin and pop it in there and that will just pop out same these these are the same sort of connectors that you have on your light and what have you and it's what i use when i wiring up stuff as well so you know it's like you uh, want to take these off or something like that so just use a tiny little pin push it into that and it pops it out there you go all done so that pin needs to go back in to this connector into i think it's number four i think it was something like our number two i'll have a look when i uh, put it in yeah but i didn't want to Scotch lock it, I thought I'd solder that in, so that goes all the way up. Can't really get the camera in here, it's a bit dark it is. But uh, yeah, that's the type of connector that I, uh, that's uh, on the back of your plugs. So if you've got a TD5, a Puma, that's what I'd recommend is pop, pop one of these up, put a pin in one of these and take it out. Um, all I gotta do now is connect that back in there, the pin back into there, put everything all back in, and then make a start taking the mirrors off. Unfortunately, the weather's taken a turn for the worse, so I'll probably film that in a couple of days' time, but for you, it'll be more or less straight away. So, yeah, I'm gonna plug that back into there and everything else and uh, see how we get on. Right, when you pick this up again, I should be outside doing the mirrors. The next day. The mirror for sure. Right, so it's been a few days since I've done the wiring for the switch and in the dash and everything else because the weather changed, I couldn't film outside, so it's just straight away for you guys to see. So today now I'm going to be taking the mirrors off today, uh, have a look at the wire in there, get the pad stuck on the glass, see how it all works, and hopefully they'll work and everything. There is expecting cold weather, uh, it's a bit cold here this morning, but I think over the weekend we're going to have some frost, so what I might do if we do get some frost, I will come out and probably do a video uh, in this video and see how they perform because there's no way of checking what, they, what they're going to be like when it's sort of uh, fairly mild. I mean, it is a bit cold today, but we haven't had no frost. So we are due frost in the next day or two. So if I can, I'll put it on the end of this video or in this video somehow. So uh, let's go and take a look at what we need to do and how we're going to fit these on. Uh, and everything else, and maybe have a cup of coffee to warm up or something. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, so I just nipped in the house and got myself a cup of tea, much needed, I'm absolutely freezing. So I got myself a nice hot uh, brew, as you would say up north. Is it up north or something? I don't know, anyway. Cheers, everybody. Anyway, right, so we're gonna take these mirrors off, straightforward enough, a little Allen key underneath, and I'll show you the wires and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, but it is, it's starting to get a bit cold. Got the old beanie on, a jacket. So as well, as well, I picked up a lovely jumper from the charity shop. Look at that. Three pound from the charity shop, brand new, extra large, perfect. Anyway, right, let's crack on with this and see what we're up again.
Right, let's have a look. So these are oversized, well, I say oversized, they're slightly bigger mirrors than standard defenders. It's worth getting a pair if you, um, if you've got a defender, then I would probably, I, I would say probably get a, get a set, get a set of large mirrors. I think Mad UK do them. I put a, just drilled right through there. So I'll remove these. Hey, there you go. All right, so here's the wires. So what I'll do, I'll put my uh, other multimeter on these to find out. I think the brown might be the live. We'll find out what I did. I just put some uh, heat shrink over these for the time being. So the next job, I'll take these off. I'm gonna put the, put the ignition on, put my tester on them to find out which one it is. There you go. So I've got my little LED tester. I probably won't be able to see that on camera, but there you go. That is working. So the brown, like I said, the brown is the live. All right, so what I'm gonna do next now is solder these. So that'll be the next job for me to do. Just give them a quick solder, put the connectors on. All right, let's get to it. So I thought I'd show you, I've just put the engine on and they're getting warm already. Yeah, they, they're really warm actually. So everything's working, which is a good sign. So we've got the little uh, heated symbol on the dash and then uh, the switch light is on. Yeah, they're quite warm, really nice. I'm pleased with them. Knock that off. And there you go, so I've taken the uh, rest of it off. It is quite gunky, yeah? well it would be, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give that a clean, got some bit of brake cleaner. Is that a clean? These um, heater pads, I got them from eBay. I think they were like 20 odd quid, like I said earlier on. So I'll probably stick them on like that. Just make sure I put it the right way. It don't really matter if you put it put them that way or it doesn't really matter. So I'll just, just put them there like that. You know, that's gonna melt all the uh, frost or ice or whatever's on there. So uh, I'll stick that on and what I'll do, I'll pick you back up once I've stuck that on. So I'm gonna take that inside the house, warm that up a bit, I'll put it somewhere warm. Maybe put a hairdryer on the back of it or something. Um, I don't use a hairdryer, so uh, right, let's get that stuck on. So there you go, the mirror's cleaned up. Element is stuck on the back, giving that a clean as well. There's a lot of crap and rubbish in there. Also what I've done as well, I've given, taken this steel retainer clamp out and just sprayed it with galv spray so all i gotta do now is feed the wires through there so uh and then put it all back on and away to go There you go guys, that side's done. Got to do the same process the other side. Uh, yeah, but they, they weren't too bad to do. The hardest part of this job is wiring into the switch into the dash because I had to take my stereo system out or the screen out on my Sony screen. That was the hardest job, sort of taking that off and then putting it all back together. But yeah, they've, they've gone on all right, they have. I mean, they only mirrors at the end of the day with a bit of wire going through them. There you 
guys. Bit of frost this morning. Didn't get much onto the mirrors this morning of frost, but nevertheless, they did work. The heated mirrors are absolutely fantastic. Got the old Carhartt uh, thermal dungarees on this morning. <laughs> it is a bit fresh. Yeah, but overall, I'm really impressed with them. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Maybe I'll be a bit warmer.